All right, Morgan, let's check out uh, some of your first run at Okimo GS. We'll put it in regular uh, speed, then slow her down. So, you know, like we talk about, um, we need to do a couple of things. We need to, you know, have more angles and, and be more level with the shoulders. It's the way you tip your skis up on edge is more or less like leaning in and, and therefore there's weight on the inside. And we can see inside hand lower, um, obviously not anywhere near level. Um, so we got weight on the inside. So the outside ski never really hooks up. Um, we got to edge our skis by using first our ankles and then knees and then move the hip to the inside and actively level, creating angles. You know, this is okay down here, but the upper body now has to go, you know, straight up um, such that we get level shoulders. We got to be balanced over the outside ski and you're kind of really falling to the inside. So what happens? Well, the arc lengthens, and we're not ready for this one. Same idea here, just sort of, you know, leaning in. You can see your outside ski just drifting down the hill, and you're just moving to the inside ski, and we're well below the pole. I mean, we want to be finishing in that position uh, up here next to the panel and obviously you can see you're significantly down the hill so a late a late and low line means slow um, you know the same thing you see just kind of leaning in you just sort of lean in to tip your skis up and see where they take you um, the second thing we got to work on we talk about it a, a lot but um, I haven't seen you really done it yet is move those hands forward you know, they should be wide in GS in between the turns for balance, but and then drive them forward. Your every turn, your elbows are at your sides. We've got to think elbows in front of the torso, in front of your body. You can see it here. When you get closer to me, I mean, they're just right by your sides, and they should be out in front of you. No reason right there. You can see elbows are right your torso. We just got to move them forward to help you get in the front of the boot. Um, obviously, coming over this knoll here, you can tell by the spray, big skid. Got to set up more for that. But, you know, bottom line, um, I know we've talked about it, but we got to move the hands forward, move the elbows in front of the torso, and we got to get edging our skis a different way from ankles and knees first you see divergence there obviously just you know moving falling and moving to the inside um, you got to be committed to the outside ski produce some angles you get it balanced over it um, you know what can you work on well we did a bunch of drills for this exact purpose last weekend but clearly doing a lot of uh, the slopey drills, um, these drills should be done on your own. Um, skiing down, lifting the inside ski the entire time. And if you fall to the inside, have to put it down, it gives you instant feedback that I'm not balanced out over it. But uh, those things you got to work on uh, in your free skiing from the course down to a lift, uh, wherever. Uh, your warm up runs, um, because that will give you instant feedback and help you. Uh, get balanced over the outside ski.